Number one thing you can do is master the game. Understand the rules and learn how you can be the best with it. Michael Jackson is the blueprint of this. Now, he comes from a musical family, obviously with Jackson 5, they had a ton of hits, but he's able to stand out for a number of reasons. Now, there were some solo attempts early on, but when he got to adulthood, he took the solo career a lot more serious. There are two smart ways that he was able to master the game at this point really early on. The first thing he did was that he actually went with a label that was not the one he was currently with. The smart part about this was that sometimes when you go to a new venue or new area, you end up being higher value. To paraphrase a saying, a prophet is an idiot within his own home. In other words, you don't always have the respect that you deserve or that you've earned from the people who don't see you from afar. Then he started making moves behind the scenes to not only consolidate his power, but also give him more leverage within the game of the music industry. He ended up getting some of his masters back, if not all of them, buying the Beatles catalog. Most importantly, he ended up getting a piece of Sony, which was the head company of Epic, which he was signed to. So let's break that down. He was signed to a company and ended up becoming an owner of the company. You were the guy who said to Michael Jackson, you should get into publishing. Some advice, Paul? Yeah. I took, took him aside and said, doodly -doo, doodly -doo, doodly -doo, and think about getting into music publishing. Oh, I'm gonna get yours. Well, I went, oh, he slapped sure him you on are. the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good one, you know. And then I just got wrong up and said, he's got yours. You understand the rules of the game so that you can be the best within those rules.